Hey everybody, it's Nate Berg with Selmo Lures. I'm going to show you a great technique for going after one of the least sought after fish in Minnesota, and I don't know why, because they're a blast and they're great eating, and that's the whitefish. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to troll with tiny hornets. So basically what I do is I use a, a modified three-way weight. So I got a swivel with a sinker tied off, and the sinker is actually eight ounces. The reason I use the eight ounce weight is it goes directly below the boat and I can see it on my locator. And that allows me to see how the fish are reacting to the Selma Hornet. And there's a fish right there, we got one on. We got one on. There he is, all right. Oh boy, this is a good one. So you gotta take them really easy because whitefish fight <laughs> very, very hard. So, and they have paper mouths. And we got, obviously, we got really sharp, small hooks on these Selmos. So you wanna take it nice and easy to not rip them out. And this is a, this is a really nice fish. Here he comes. <laughs> That's a nice whitefish. That's a nice whitefish. Here we go, here he comes. There he is. So this one here is probably about a five pounder, maybe a little bit bigger, but, but you get little slimy fish in them. But that's a very, very nice fish. And that's a lot of fun. Ooh, there she goes. And I've been slimed. The one thing about these hornets is they have the best vibration that I've ever seen for whitefish, and the whitefish just can't resist them. Just like when you fish anything else, you try to match the hatch or match their food. And here in this area, the best forage fish for them are either small tulabies, shiners, or perch. So I try to get reflective colors or perch patterns or something that can look like a perch. You do that, you get it in the right zone, and it's game on. Hey Brandon, why don't you take that one? What do you think about the Minnesota whitefish? Oh, it's a lot different than we do it in Michigan. <laughs> it's amazing the power these fish have. There we go. There he is, beautiful fish. So I really try to vary my speeds. I try to go for anywhere from 1.1 to top out at 1.5 when trolling these small crankbaits. And I also, what I try to do is I try to make a lot of turns. So one side will dig down deeper because it's moving faster, the other side will float up. And a lot of times when that lure is floating up, that's when you get your strike. So just, just keep in mind that you wanna try to move away from the fish at all times. Whenever you see one on your screen coming up and going after, just do a little bit of a move. Just try to get a reaction strike. Fish on, fish on, right there. If you want to have a really unique fishing experience, grab your trolling rod, some Selma Hornets, and come out and fish some whitefish. They are a blast.